Coronel Huerta. I want to know why. Why? Why? No governor must reach Nuevo Aragon. Diego. Oh, Diego. Everywhere I go, I find man's need for violence. Very well. No governor will arrive there. Yes, you will. A governor will arrive there. And he'll make them pay for this. <laughs> Believe me. No, Diego. You can't go. You'd go there to kill. Save your strength, Miguel. Please. Diego, you <laughs> must promise. Swear to me. If you go in my place, the new governor will never kill. Remember, Diego. I am that governor. <laughs> my principles. My ideals. You must keep them alive, Diego. Take this seal and swear on the life of my son. I have but a moment. Swear. I swear. Gentlemen of the Aristocratic Council, it is three months now since our governor died and his successor has not yet arrived from Spain. The simple truth is that Spain is too distant from Nueva Aragon and our situation is far too serious to tolerate another moment's delay. Our enemies surround us on every side. Up in the Cordillera, the English 
have hired bandits who systematically harass and rob our transports. In the interior, they build revolution. What we need, gentlemen, is drastic action, and we need it now. I call upon you to place in my hands the army and the authority of our government. I assume I have your consent, gentlemen. Consent by silence. Eh, Colonel Wetter? You are Colonel Wetter, are you not? I am. But of course, gentlemen, I can understand and appreciate the heavy weight of such a responsibility. What responsibility is it you're talking of? Why, my own, naturally. I am Miguel Vega de la Cerda. By sovereign grace, your new governor. My commission, Colonel. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, a little decorum, please. <laughs> when did you arrive, Your Excellency? But a moment ago. I did not want to interrupt you, as I thought the occasion offered me a splendid opportunity to assess the circumstances. And were you able? Did you assess the circumstances? Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm afraid so. And unless you exaggerate, things are very bad indeed. To think that I was already sufficiently shaken by the tragic death of my poor uncle, Don Fernando. One is not even sport. You four. If you want to stay alive, you have a lot to learn. Now go. Splendid, splendid. But I always thought this sort of drill was conducted with uh, blunted weapons. Only real danger and actual bleeding can teach a man to fight. Besides, their weapons are equally as sharp as mine. It has taken me only 24 hours to realize the gravity of the situation here in Nuevo Aragon. May I request you prepare plans for the protection and security of our people? I am sure I will approve any measures you think necessary. I move by your faith in me, Your Excellency. Moreover, I, uh, I should be very much reassured if you would arrange personally for my own physical safety. It would be an honor, Your Excellency. Ah. And I have the very man. Garcia! Excellency! Him? Oh, yes, him. Garcia. Present! Ah! Extraordinary. <laughs> well, well. I assume his appetite is as great as his strength. My appetite? Yes. 
seeing as you'll be required to taste each and every course of my meals. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Wilton, please. Now we'll see how long whoever will be happy with a weak governor instead of a dead one. Now we've got to find a way to get out of this museum. You shut up now. to talk to me? You want to say something? Well, a secret passage. How convenient. Don Fernando's Road to Adventure. Ah, yes. Stairway. We'll use it to get some answers. Thanks. Brother Francisco de la Trinidad, you are accused of fraud against the merchant Ramiro Valdez. Witness, here present. You sold him rotten, worthless hides. The hides were perfectly good. Why don't you have a look at them? Full of worms. I had to burn them. <laughs> you are a liar. You will also be punished for insulting an honest tradesman. You insult the truth, Senor Magistrado. Very well. You will also be held in contempt of court. Enough of this fuss! You know perfectly well the sentence has already been written. And you know the real reasons for condemning this holy man. He is guilty only of protesting injustice. He is guilty of denouncing cheats, exploiters, profiteers. Shut her up. <coughs> Ten lashes for fraud. Ten more for defamation and slander. We don't whip innocent people here anymore, Sergeant. Who are you? What do you want? I want to show you what justice is. First of all, you release Brother Francisco. Now! Back. Now arrest the real criminals. The corrupt judge. The lying witness. And the murdering executioner. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
Thank God for your life, Sergeant. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the sign of Zorro. 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 Go home, brother. <laughs> but leave the children here. They should see that the law is fair. The sentence is three times the number of lashes they wanted to give the monk. Now start! <laughs> this is just the beginning. How will you manage to take them all when you leave? What makes you imagine that I would want to drag this gallery of nightmares back to Spain? No. Oh, who is this delightful creature? Your cousin, Hortensia Pulido de Olvidades. Oh, I must meet her as soon as possible. You want to meet her? Poor dear. Clearly, misfortunes never arrive alone. Misfortunes? The Pulido de Olvidades are virtually penniless. But how's that? It's what they deserve. Uh, no for conspiring against the people of Nueva Aragon. Colonel Huerta, you startled me. You came in like, a, like an assassin. What? Assassin, my uncle's dog. <laughs> um, you were saying that the Pulidos were conspirators? There's undeniable proof of the fact. Oh, but how can it be? Conspiracy. Oh. Just look at that face. It's all purity, innocence. Don't you see that unless you throw them back, these people will starve and enslave you? You know full well the weight of your grain, your livestock. You know those scales are rigged. Senorita, stop that nonsense. You are trying to cause trouble for us. We have enough trouble with that bandit Zorro. I'm here for your protection, and my presence will teach that clown to keep his distance. <laughs> what clown, Sergeant? Tell your soldiers to drop their weapons. Oh, Zorro! I need you, Sergeant Garcia. And I need you alive. Yes, sir. You heard the gentleman? Drop your guns by the well. Ah, you're a born leader, Garcia. Yes, sir. Up on the scale. Yes, sir. All right. Let's see. Only 50 pounds? <laughs> so you are full of hot air, Garcia. Now, are you ready to order those thieves to pay a fair price for a fair weight? Or do you have more tricks up your sleeve? Just one! Not bad, Sergeant. <laughs> Have you got another one? If I catch you, I kill you. Is that a fact? Mm -hmm. If at first you don't see, try again. <laughs> ah. yeah. ah. Ah. Keep coming, Sergeant. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Stand still. Stand still. You move around too much. Oh! You would like that, wouldn't you? All right, then. I'm standing still.
I apologize. Ha, ha, ha. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, listen, everyone. Sergeant Garcia wants to return what he stole from you. Take it all back home with you. Garcia! Senorita, 
Good evening. I've been waiting for you, senorita. You're safe. Thank God. I must say, this is the first time I've seen an aristocrat take sides with a bandit. It is innocent people, not bandits, who are pursued by soldiers here. Where does your family stand in all this? It's a long, sad story. How could it interest you? You seem to forget that I'm here to bring back justice into this province. And maybe the joy into your eyes. The soldiers! You had better run. I'm afraid for you. Don't be. Oh, please go. I beg you. Hasta la vista, señorita. What are you doing here? Search the house, question everyone. But first, bring me Polito and his wife. My parents are not at home. Then I'll have to wait for them. The rest of you, search the outlying areas. The bandit is here somewhere. Now, you and I must talk. It won't be needed. make the most of this opportunity. I'm offering to marry you. You stay away from me. <laughs> I'm giving you a chance to redeem your entire family. I know that at this moment, it may seem like a sacrifice to you. But ultimately, ultimately, you may find it a pleasurable experience. <laughs> There's only one way you can pay for that. That's enough, Colonel. If you don't know how to respect a woman, I'll have to teach you. You're very brave. First you disarm me, then you challenge me. I'm just a bandit, remember? And a bandit will do anything to get what he wants. I want you on your knees, begging forgiveness from this lady. You must be mad. On your knees, now. I'm an officer! You're an insect! Down! Never! Colonel, when I get bored with tearing your uniform, I'll cut your heart out.
swear you will never offend her again. I swear. Please forgive me. Now get out. You'll be safe here. Take care, please. I'm still afraid for you. If only I could help. You've given me another reason to live and fight. That's help enough. Thank you. We shall meet again, bandit! and Countess Pulido and their daughter Hortense. I'm delighted you received my invitation. <laughs> I'm delighted you received my invitation. I've looked so forward to meeting you. All the injustice, the countless outrages we have suffered these many years, Father. Why, they pale before so splendid a reception. Oh, to say nothing of the great pleasure of being once again surrounded by people of our own class. Oh, I... Noblemen and ladies, who never so much as lifted a finger to help us. Oh, Cousin Hortensia, you speak with such confidence. There may be gentlemen present who would take issue with your pronouncements. Gentlemen? I notice no gentleman. My, my Colonel my. Huerta, perhaps Senorita Hortensia means that the role of a gentleman can be fulfilled only by a bandit. If you refer to Zorro, Colonel Huerta, you already know that I've had ample opportunity to compare that so-called bandit with the likes of you. Senorita. Oh. Uh, please forgive me. Excuse me. It's that silly dog. <laughs> Now, what have you done? Have you written me a poem? <laughs> ah! Oh, my God! Governor, the verdict is in. You've been pronounced guilty, the sentence death. Signed, Zorro. Zorro. Goodness. 
Your Excellency, I have devised a perfect plan to capture Zorro. Hortensia Polito will be taken prisoner, tied in chains, and dragged around publicly until Zorro comes out of hiding to rescue her. But, but Colonel, she, she, she's an aristocrat, my own cousin. Oh, no, no. No, I can't. It's a matter of life and death, Your Excellency. Your life. Oh, my life. Your death. Oh, my death. Arriva! Get in! were waiting for me in the streets. So I came here instead. I had time to prepare your escape. Brother Francisco will hide you. And Huerta will look like the fool he is. But the guards are all here now. How can we get by them? <laughs> I've arranged some surprises for them. You'll see.
Alla ferma! Rapido! is down there. Go straight to the mission. And you? Idiot! Idiot! If they escape, you'll all be shot! Hurry up! Go! Get about the girl! Get Zoro! person who knew of this plan. Of course. What plan? Come with me. A horse! 
A horse! Get me a horse! A horse? My kingdom for a horse. Governor's room, give them to me. Impossible. Without orders from His Excellence, nobody gets the keys. If you don't give me the keys, I kill you. I'll give you the keys. <laughs> All right, get down. Get down, assassin. Open the door. Look, I'm on your side, but you have to. Be <laughs> Slide under the bed. <laughs> My apologies, Your Excellency. Colonel mm Huerta? -hmm. What is going on? Zora has rescued Hortensia Polido from the fortress. He was waiting there for her. He seemed to be aware of each and every aspect of our plan. Well, that's impossible. Impossible may be, but it happened. Only one person besides myself knew this plan. You! But, Excellency, I could say the same thing. Colonel, have you gone mad? If I were mad, would I be here? What, what, what do you mean? I'm here for one purpose and one purpose only. To capture Zorro. And to see him hanged. Fair enough, Colonel. I think there's only one thing I can do. Oh, yes. I agree. You recall the message? I'm the one Zorro wishes to destroy. Therefore, I'm the one who must serve as bait. You? How else can we tempt him? It's his life... or my own. It's not that I doubt your ability, Sergeant Garcia, but are you sure you've seen to everything? The forest is alive with soldiers, Your Excellency. Every shrub, every tree, every rock on each bank conceals men armed to the neck and ready to defend you. shall carry out the plan to the letter, fearlessly. Now, real fishermen always separate. Mm. You'll go downstream, and I'll go further up. Good luck. Okay. Mm. He's the bean free. There he is, down there. Yes, sir. 
Garcia, where's the governor? I don't know where he is. He was over there behind that truck. But now he's gone. It's not my fault. There he is. Is he alone? Headed toward the plane. Well, get after him. But, but what about his excellency? Are we just going to abandon him? Garcia, if you still think the governor's around here, you're a bigger fool than I think you are. Oh, look. Look, I got one. I got one. Uh, what is it you were saying, Colonel? You see? Yeah. There's no time for explanations, Your Excellency. Get after him! And they will touch us! Oh, but you're not going to leave me all alone. At least allow Sergeant Garcia to stay with me. With pleasure. It's a trout. He took it hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Adelante! Díganme! Everybody, let's put the arithmetic aside for a minute. You have got to help Zorro. Yes. Do you all remember what to do? Yes. And uh, niños, come, 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 come. Les digo que está vestido de negro. Buscarle por todo burro. Over here now, hurry! I want to be so. Here you are. Here, here is yours. Here's your mask. Thank you. Thank you. Here. And here is your mask. That's right. I'm interested. Come. No podéis encontrar un bandido vestido de negro. Hay que fastidiarse. There's no one here. Search everywhere.
¡Dónde! ¡Por ahí está! ¡Vamos los chicos! ¡Vamos! ¡Vamos! Governor's inside the carriage, trussed up like a chicken. Now, either you do what I tell you, or I'll wring his neck and have him stuffed and fed to the dogs. <laughs> Come on. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! It's a child! I bless you, no. of the it's devil! It's a child! No! <laughs> Take you to the mine, and I'll join you there later. <laughs> <laughs> Two birds with one stone, eh, Sergeant? Hey, go, go! Whoa. Drop your guns, men! The governor's inside, with Zorro's gun pointed at his head! Thank you, Sergeant. If I live through this, you can be sure of my eternal gratitude. Have no fear, Your Excellency. Everything is proceeding according to my strategy. Las armas, Pascualo! Release the monk. Exactly. Release the monk. Have faith, brother. You're not alone. Drop your rifles! All of you! That's an order! Now release them. All of them, immediately. No! Release them! All of them! Immediately!
Mouse Deer. You better go. Into the woods, quickly. Run for it. You too, brother. They need you. That'll be all, Sergeant. The governor stays with me. Dismissed! I go. Have a nice trip. Goodbye, Hortensia. And good luck. I'm coming with you. No, you're not. Alto! Where's Zorro? Zorro. <laughs> you go that way. The rest of you come with me. Vamos, conmigo y rápido. Rápido, hijo. need you more than ever. Bandit is dead. And as for the governor, well, at least he will have had a hero's death. And now Nova Aragon will have a new governor. And you, if your father knows what's good for him, will have a husband. <laughs>
We ask for justice. With Jesus at our side, we demand our freedom. You may thank your God that in honor of this occasion, I've decided to pardon you. Only God can pardon. In this very church, you contrive to profane the Lord's sacrament down on your knees and pray for his mercy. God, arrest this priest. Arrest him! Detenerlo! Detenerlo! This bell is ringing for you, Colonel Huerta. So. You have a rebellion on your hands. The blood of your victims cries for justice, and justice will be done. Soro, he's alive. Soro can never die. Detenerlo! God, fire! Fire! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! You fool. got away with it, Colonel. But you push these good people a little too far. And now they're going to push you back.
murder of Brother Francisco releases me from the promise I made to another man of peace. Who you butchered. It's easy to kill saints, Colonel. Let's see how you do against a sinner. that mask off you, even if I have to chase you to hell for it. Kill no more, Colonel. No more. Thank <laughs> you. 
So 